Hey guys, welcome to this tutorial, my name is Attempster. Today I'm going to be going over how to add custom normals to your foliage in the Blender Game Engine. So for example here, we have a bush that we've added it to, and as you can see on the left here is what it was, or what it used to be in previous versions of Blender, and then with custom normals applied, you can see on this one here, we have a lot smoother uh, sort of lighting applied to it. Also our lamp here, will directly affect where the lighting goes and stuff so that works really well and then as you can see on the old version here if we move the lamp over the lighting is pretty random uh, only some planes actually have light on them and the other planes don't. Now to do this tutorial you're going to need Blender 2.74 the reason for that is is that the only recently we have a new modifier here which is called the normals edit modifier and that goes ahead and adds in our custom normals. So if you haven't already, go ahead and get Blender 2.74. But apart from that, I'll be getting straight on into this tutorial. Now the first thing you'll have to do once you have your bush created, like so, is you'll have to go under the material settings here. You're gonna have to scroll down and make sure that back facing is on. So turn that on, and then if you go over here, I'll press N to bring up this menu, and under shading, if you click back face culling then that will get rid of the uh, back faces so this is what it's sort of going to look like in game now basically what back facing culling does is it goes ahead and removes the back side of each of the planes or textures what that means is that one side is the good side which has all the lighting and normals and stuff applied to it and then the other side is the bad side which has the bad lighting and stuff and that's what we sort of want to get rid of so for this to work properly though, we need both a good side on both sides of the mesh. So if you'll notice here, if I go over into edit mode, you'll notice that I have one side over here, and then another side over here. So you'll notice there's two different sides to it. So what we're going to do is we're going to select our bush here, we're going to press tab to go into edit mode, A to select everything, then we're going to press shift D to duplicate, don't move the mouse, just click. So now we've made a duplicate. And then we're going to go to this menu here, go down to normals and under shading and UVs, and we want to flip the direction. Now what that does is, if we go back into object mode, this now means that we have a leaf on this side and a leaf on this side. It basically means that the bad sides are facing in towards each other, and so we won't see them and we'll only see the good sides on the outside, like so. Now what we want to do is go over to the mesh settings here. We want to check auto smooth, so if it isn't already checked, go ahead and check it. Then we want to go ahead to the modifiers, add a modifier and choose normal edit and by default uh, the default settings should be fine so as you can see here this is close to the finished result now if we move the light over here we have almost exactly the same bush as we do over here and then if you want these uh, settings or you're happy with them you want them to remain permanent just go ahead and click apply and then there we go that's done if you don't want to go ahead and duplicate uh, every single face again we can do is leave back facing on so under the materials here I've left back facing on I haven't duplicated every single face and as you can see here it has a similar effect the only problem is if you move around it like so some of the faces disappear from this angle here you only have about three that you can see uh, and yeah you can sort of see them disappearing and appearing so if you want them to be uh, constant almost go ahead and make sure you've duplicated each face and flip the normals as well um, but yeah apart from that I think that should be it. So there you go guys, that's how to add custom normals to your foliage in the Blender Game Engine. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to let me know down below with a like or a comment. If you think someone else might find this useful, feel free to share as well, and be sure to subscribe to stay updated. So either way, hope you enjoyed the tutorial, have an awesome week, and I'll see you guys in the next video.